Hello, um, I'm about to get on to TikTok. In fact, I've already done two little videos on TikTok. I'm so excited I'm being trained. It's like, it's, it, 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 it's like having a magician in the house who says, do this, do that. And I practice with my uh, prestidigitation and then it sort of, it sort of materialized. Anyway, The Telegraph today have released an article which explains that um, the social media um, uh, uh, triumph TikTok, which, which is not nefarious. How all the TikTok people want to do is make money, I think. Uh, that's all. I mean, if it is Chinese, it, it just wants to make money. It's not about trying to control people. It's not, uh, it's not like a reality TV. All they want to do is make money. And it's now the biggest source of news for young people. So we all have to be on TikTok. You know, that's the reason. So the data comes from an Ofcom report, which found out that's really all Ofcom can do. It just report and analyze. It found out that TikTok is the number one social uh, media source of news information for all platforms for 28 percent of teenagers aged 12 to 15. So if you're not on TikTok, you're not able to relate to that generation. There's been a threefold increase uh, from the uh, from 2020s data when the when when this app this Chinese app was found to be the main news provider for just 11 percent of the same age round range. So so it's gone up, and Conservative MPs have raised concerns based on these statistics, seemingly following in the footsteps of their American counterparts' attempts to ban the app which resulted in the embarrassment of March's TikTok Congress, uh, congressional hearing. And that humiliating hearing, uh, which lasted five hours and resembled an interrogation, achieved online infamy for the absurdity of some remarks levelled at the TikTok uh, CEO. And the Singaporean CEO, uh, not even Chinese, uh, he was a former banker in the classiest traditions of the Red Scare was repeatedly accused of allowing the unchecked spread of communist propaganda. Ah! Anyway, many Republicans uh, urged a complete ban of the app, uh, but some particularly ridiculous comments and questions stood out as highlights. So, so uh, here, here, here are a few. Let me, let me, let me. So, Mr. Hudson, a North Carolina Republican, asked Chu whether the app could, quote, access the home Wi-Fi network. So if I have the TikTok app on my phone, it's like talking about the Wi-Fi, isn't it? If I have the TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on uh, my phone Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It's like, I actually, I, I remember, I, 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 I have some old friends. Uh, there's one who was 90 and she said, that she was concerned about having Wi-Fi in the home uh, because she she was very worried that she might get uh, a, a um, she might get an infection a Wi-Fi or an internet infection and therefore she would have to go to the doctor. Um, I thought that was um, I, I did try and point out that there was some illogicality in that. But anyway, uh, now the Conservative MP M. Ian Duncan Smith. Uh, or should we say the failed the failed leader of the Conservative Party, Ian Duncan Smith, called the development of TikTok's popularity immensely dangerous uh, because it is under the control of the CCP. He referred to other countries' scrutiny towards the app, including the March hearing, and implored the British government to show some leadership and do the same uh, and do, do something about this data harvesting for CCP. Tim Lawton, who's somebody I quite like, he's a former children's minister, similarly um, has uh, taken the Ofcom report as confirmation of the huge influence and reach that TikTok has on the youngest and most impressionable in our society. I'm quoting details which can all be fed back ultimately to the Chinese government. I, I, I just think this is this is paranoia. Um, meanwhile, Ofcom has found that only 9% of young teens in their survey use TikTok to browse serious things going on in the UK. That's almost a misnomer, isn't it? Um, or environmental matters, whereas the majority used it for updates on light-hearted news topics, sports, music and celebrity culture, none of which I think I fall into, but there we are. I am nevertheless throwing myself into TikTok as of today. Alicia Kearns, chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee, 
has been noted saying, it's probably the only thing she's been noted saying, that she hopes TikTok upholds the freedom of content that they purport to protect. Lots of peas there. Uh, the findings represent one part of a larger trend of youth preferring online news sources to traditional online media, uh, mainstream media, uh, with 83% of young adults now consuming news primarily through the internet. The study also demonstrated that young adults between 16 and 24 gravitate towards social media for information rather than established news brands, with Instagram dominating as the most used news source that's 44% under that age category, which reminds me, I haven't done my Sunday with Tim on Instagram, so I am sorry if anybody was expecting that. I, I am so remiss. I can't, I can't work out why Instagram uh, is useful, and I, I would love somebody to tell me. So if, if you can, I, I'd love you to tell me um, why Instagram is useful, why TikTok is useful, um, of, of course, why Ian Duncan Smith and the others are wrong. But do please leave your comments below. I'd be so interested. And if you're from the States, I'd love to know what you think of that congressional hearing. So have fun.